you're going to fish in the wintertime and you're looking for your snakeheads. Yeah. Um, what, just give them what you would, would say, because we're going to have some cumble, some pretty good cold nights coming up. Yep. Highs in the 40s, highs in the 50s. Yeah. So it's going to be really cold. So tell them your suggestion if you're going to be looking for snakeheads. All right, so here's the deal for cold weather snakehead fishing. Okay. First thing you want to look for is a two to three day warming trend. So, you know, the highs are going to get up into like the 50s. That's a warming trend during the cold part of the year, right? You want to aim for that second or third day. You want to fish from about noon or 1 p.m. until about dark. That, that's going to be your window right there. You want maximum warming. Aside from that, find a south-facing cove. So pull up Google Earth, whatever tool you use for that. Look at those coves that the setting sun or the high sun to the setting sun is going to have maximum exposure on that particular cove. And what that'll do, it, get, it provides the most warmth because snakehead, like we talked about it, we were talking about here in the shop a little bit earlier. Snakehead do seem, and the, the science is still young, but snakehead do seem to gravitate towards deeper water when it gets cold. Um, but at the very least, they're definitely going to go to the bottom, wherever that is. They're going to hang out and just kind of lay in the mud or the bottom. So people always ask me where to go in the colder months. My answer is usually the eastern shore. Mm -hmm. And that's because the eastern shore, you have most of those rivers over there, especially in like the uh, Dorchester County area. You're good. You're good. You're going to have almost uniformly shallow water. So even if snakehead do want to go to deep water, they don't have much of an option. They, yeah. re they really don't. And when there's warming trends, that's when they actually push up into those channel kind of drop offs so around that like three foot range up into the flats, which are about a foot and a half to two and a half feet. That's where you're going to find them. And what to throw is going to be your inline MEPS. I was talking to somebody in the shop just about it today. He's like, yeah, that number three MEPS, like you said, it's a killer. It's been killing it for me. Yep. Like, That's what you want to use this time of year. That or minnows. And edgemere bait and tackle, they got yep. some great minnows over here. Yeah, plenty it's, of minnows. This is where I always come for them. I only live like eight minutes away from here. It's been so convenient. I love that they opened up over here because now I got a local tackle shop yep. with a bunch of local lure makers. And I can come here in the winter and get minnows. Yep. It's, it's convenient, man. 